गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज ह्यूमन बॉडी चैप्टर थ्री ओके इन लास्ट चैप्टर वी हैव रेड अबाउट द प्लांट सेल्स एनिमल सेल्स ओके बट इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द ह्यूमन बॉडी एंड द थिंग विच वी हैव स्टडीड बिफोर ओनली इट इज रिलेटेड टू डैट बट इन अ बिट एलोबरेटेड वे we have seen in last chapter what is cell what is cell cell is the smallest unit of life that can exist independently okay when we combine small cells then it become a tissue and a student what you know what tissue tissue is a group of cell that have a similar structure and that function together as a unit okay i'll not go in much elaborated way in the, but i'll tell you more thing about the cell that there are four main sorry about the tissue that there are four main main tissues type in the body in the body are epithelial connective muscle and nervous this these are the four main tissue types okay and each is designed for a specific function now further the all first it is cell it is combined small small cells are grouped together to make a tissue then so many tissues together uh, are combined to make a organ and organ what is the organs organ like uh, your kidney your lungs your liver these are your organs and organs together form a organ system okay like a digestive system nervous system respiratory system and these are the organ system come un uh, under the organ system in this chapter also we will study about different system like it is given we will study about the digestive respiratory and circulatory system so students be very attentive and listen the uh, listen about the chapter which i'll describe here and keep your pencil in your hand so that you can keep on underlining the things or you can keep on writing the things which i'll tell you extra in this chapter okay so first we will start with the digestive system what is digestive system see digestive system in the human being consists of two part mainly two parts that is alimentary canal and digestive glands okay first i will deal with the alimentary canal elementary canal what is elementary canal in a very literal meaning or in literal word you can say it's a long and long foot pipe and its length is about 30 feet okay so you can i have drawn a this for you diagram as you can see here here it starts from here means say our this this hole is a elementary canal this hole pipe you can see these are the elementary canal the definition of a elementary canal is uh, it is a long passage inside your body or inside a, inside the body which uh, in which the food moves along from mouth to the opening where it leaves you leaves the body as waste okay see yeah underline that it is also known as food canal elementary canal is also known as food canal or digestive tract why digestive tract because from here look from here mouth it starts from here and end till here from ns till ns these all spread along elongated is known as alimentary canal and digestive canal it is also known because the food get inside this canal this from mouth we chew the food and that through this pipe it get inside the stomach where the uh, some with the help of some digestive food uh, di digestive juice the food is uh, now breaker uh, broken into more simpler form and pass to the smaller intestine and then to the then here few uh, functions take place uh, and uh, then pass to the larger intestine and then afterward the food which has not been digested has become as a waste move out of the 
body okay in a very detailed way i'll teach you about each and every part and the functions which take place in each and every part okay but uh, before that uh, i'll uh, tell you about this that it is a uh, student keep the pencil in your hand and just go on underline the words or the sentence which i'll tell you see it is a long membrane lined tube of varying thickness why the yes, elementary canal is of varying thickness everywhere it is not as same as where it has started from the mouth because see the from the mouth when the food is chewed it become uh, it become small pieces from there now this thickness is compulsory here okay then afterward it get inside the stomach and then to the small intestine here the another uh, th yeah, diameter is of a uh, elementary canal you can see and then in the yeah, large intestine the another diameter is there means uh, another thickness uh, you can see why because from each uh, each track uh, from each place uh, the different uh, substance or uh, different uh, type of uh, things are passed uh, like here the food has been passed in a yes yeah, uh, you can uh, we cannot say in a simpler form but, but in a small pieces so only uh, only such diameter is uh, needed and then later on in the small intestine it is it is uh, less thicker than a large intestine here also the function take place like uh, digestions uh, uh, most 90% uh, of digestion uh, uh, is uh, took place uh, here only then it moves to the large intestine means in large intestine the waste product is moved it means things uh, in food which is not been digested by the body that is in the uh, in the waste, as a waste product so here the another diameter or another thickness is of the elementary canal you can see so that why it is of the varying thickness in a different track of the body it runs it runs means it is from mouth mouth to the anus and consist of mouth this uh, whole thing underlined please underline the sentence that it consists of uh, the mouth uh, a student this esophagus don't pronounce esophagus the correct pronunciation is uh, esophagus stomach small intestine large intestine rectum and anus these things uh, are uh, involved uh, or you can say you uh, food pipe has been passed from these area and it is given the different name this hole is elementary canal and the place uh, later on is given a different different name it is given like rectum small intestine large intestine stomach or esophagus and all see digestive gland what is digestive gland these includes salivary gland liver pancreas and all linked with the elementary canal these all things are needed to digest a food okay so now mouth mouth is a first and foremost part of the digestive system mouth is a first and foremost why because in digestive system what we digest we digest food and food first is taken into the mouth food we take into the mouth we chew it we chew the food with the help of our teeth which is in our mouth so far food is taken to the body through the mouth which opens into the small chamber called buccal cavity right the digestion start in the mouth itself here it is again i have told you that first and foremost part of the digestive system is mouth and it is also written here the digestion start in the mouth itself like see the whole digestion cannot take place in the mouth but it is written it is start here because the first thing the first step is done here and what is the first step that chewing of the food food is the uh, we take the food inside the mouth and the the chew we chew the food inside the uh, mouth that is the first step towards the digestion right we know that the mouth consists of what tongue teeth and salivary gland oh and teeth help the help to chew the food as i have told you now that with the help of uh, teeth we chew the food and ma make it in a simpler form or make it uh, break the food into the pieces so that it can easily pass through this elementary canal or easily pass through this esophagus now see that uh, 
द स्मॉलर पीस ऑफ फूड इज साइमल्टेनियसली कीप ऑन मिक्सिंग विथ दी सेल सलाइवा वॉट इज सलाइवा सलाइवा इज अ अंडरलाइन दी सेंटेंस दैट सलाइवा इज अ वॉटरी सब्टेंस प्रेजेंट इन दी माउथ एंड इट इज सिक्रेटेड बाई थ्री पेयर ऑफ सेलेवरी ग्लैंड वॉट आर दिस थ्री पेयर नंबर वन इज पैरोटेड ग्लैंड नंबर टू इज सब मैंडुलर ग्लैंड एंड नंबर थ्री इज सब लिंगुअल ग्लैंड पैरोटेड ग्लैंड इज प्रेजेंट आर फाउंड इन दी फ्रंट ऑफ एंड जस्ट बिलो ईच ईयर सब मैंडुलर ग्लैंड इज बिलो द जॉ एंड सब लिंगुअल लिंगुअल ग्लैंड इज अंडर दी टंग सी दीज ग्लैंड मेक वर्ड हियर इट इन थ्री पेयर ऑफ salivary gland and these three gland what they do their work is to make saliva and then empty it in the mouth through the opening called duct duct is a opening through which saliva comes into the mouth from where from these three gland which i have told you right now parotid gland sub mandibular gland and sub lingual gland okay what is the function of saliva student write write the function of saliva it makes a food moist which help chewing and swallowing and digestion of food and second is saliva also keep the mouth clean and healthy because it contain antibodies that kill germs okay now next is tongue which is found in the mouth as it, it is written here it consists of tongue teeth and salivary gland in mouth three three things are found tongue teeth and saliva salivary gland and in the three pair of salivary gland i have told you right now now next is tongue tongue is what a fleshy muscular organ attached at the back of buccal cavity and free in the front free in the front because our tongue is never attached at the front because if it will be attached it will we will face problem in speaking we tongue is helpful for us in speaking or in talking this portion this uh, this portion see in the diagram student see in the diagram this portion of the tongue is attached to the buccal cavity it is written na in the your chap in your line that is it attached to the back of the buccal cavity and free in the front it make it can move in all direction it help in many ways these are the function these are the function of the tongue it help in swallowing the food yes when we chew the food it help to move inside the food is get moved by the tongue it help mixing the food with saliva saliva is a, saliva come from the that duct and it help to mix the food in the saliva it help in detecting the different taste like sweet bitter salty sour with the help of taste bud it also help in speaking i have told you right now so what is the taste uh, it is written here now help in the taste help of the taste bud these see in your diagram see uh, when you eat any food you feel its taste like you feel it is salty either either sour or bitter or sweet why we feel this because in our tongue these things are present to to know or to help us to identify or feel that the food is of which taste see when you keep your eat your food the front portion of the tongue help us to know that it is the food whether the food is sweet or not that the front portion of the tongue is helpful for us to know that food is sweet at both the side at both the side of the tongue as you can see where i am moving up my pencil both the side of the tongue it is helpful to know the food is a sour of taste and in the middle of the middle of our tongue it is help us to know the salty taste and at the back when we eat the food and it goes to the back then we come to know that food is bitter in the taste okay student that's all for today your work will be to draw the location of the taste bud on the tongue and please student don't color the picture okay in the uh, biology it is uh, not needed to color the picture just it is and level the thing with with your pencil 
no pen don't use pen and also draw the digestive system and the function of this saliva which i have told you in this in this video and the elementary canal definition and what are those three salivary gland and where it is present write each and everything and send in the group i will check okay thank you